Well, I'm highly disappointed with Sony. I mean, we all waited for the Sony A7R 3 but what we got yesterday is what? Sony A7R 4 I mean, come on, this Sony A7R 3 is so damn good. You don't even need a Sony A7R 4 but I know there will be a lot of amateurs and professionals who want to jump ship and get the new model and be an early adopter so this video is for them in this video i'm going to explain you 15 things you need to know the differences between this sony a7r3 and the brand new sony a7r4 first the sony a7r3 sensor is 42 megapixel sensor and the sony a7r4 is 61 megapixel man you are going to need a lot of hard drives you are going to need a macro you are going to need a really hefty beefed up computer to process those files 61 megapixel damn that's going to be a lot of details second the sony a7r3 has got 399 phase detection af points for the sony a7r4 it's 576 phase detection af point that means basically like 80 percent of your screen you are going to get all those af points you can easily use a lot of af points to compose your shot and get the shot right so 399 versus 567 that's a huge step up from a7r3 to a7r4 third for the video shooters the a7r3 doesn't come with the real-time eye tracking in the video mode but for the a7r4 it comes with the real-time eye tracking in the video mode not just a photo mode in the video mode so basically you just get your camera up start focusing a person it's going to automatically track that eye and keep on tracking them until and unless you get out of the frame so basically real-time eye tracking a7r4 for the video shooters that's going to help fourth the a7r3 has the real-time eye tracking as well but for that you need to keep one switch engaged or any of your custom button engaged but for the a7r4 it can basically keep on tracking the eye of a person you are trying to compose without any kind of custom function or like any i mean you do not have to keep any of your button engaged all you have to do is just keep the real time eye tracking on and it's going to keep on tracking that eye as long as you have the camera focused on the person this is again for the video shooters the a7r3 doesn't have a click to focus and track that subject as long as you are not cancelling that touch focus but for the a7r4 this is a nice step up Basically what you can do is if you have a camera on a gimbal and you just do a tap to focus the camera is going to track that subject until and unless you cancel that spot track. This is amazing. I mean for the video shooters it's going to help because for the A7R3 normally what we have to do is I, I always I mean I always keep this touch thing on my A7R3 off because it doesn't help but in A7R4 it's surely going to help because you can just click it it's going to track the subject you can cancel that you, are get, you can get out to the second subject or the second shot so this is neat for the video shooters sixth as per sony the a7r4 has a faster auto focusing speed than the a7r3 we are going to see all those in real time tests later once the camera comes out but for now we know that the auto focusing is faster than a7r3 and since it has a bigger sensor like 61 versus 42 megapixel in this Sony A7R3, it, the A7R4 is going to have a lot of high speed read and write and yeah, faster auto focusing. And the new Sony A7R4 offers two card slots and both of them are UHS2 compatible. That is neat. But for the Sony A7R3, the first slot is UHS2 and the second slot is not UHS2. And also there is one more change for the uh, Sony A7R3, we have the bottom one as a slot 1 and the up one is slot 2. But for the Sony A7R4, this one is 1, this one is 2 and this thing has also changed for, for the A7R3 we have this switch to open this but for the Sony A7R4 we have the Canon style like get it out, get it off, get it out, get it off. So these two things have changed, no button anymore for opening the card slot and the two of them uh, card slots that UHS2 compatible and the slot 1 and slot 2 position has changed and now comes the advanced pixel shifting for the a7r3 it can do advanced pixel shifting as well and you can get an image up to like 160 megapixel but for the a7r4 you can get up to 240 megapixel that's a lot of details and now coming back to the evf the sony a7r3 and sony a7r4 both of them have oled screen but sony says 
the brand new Sony A7R4 is going to have a lot of color details on the EVF. So we are going to see once the camera reaches in September. And the Sony A7R4 supports the 5 GHz band. So basically it's going to help for a much faster and stable data transfer rate. But for the Sony A7R3, it only has 2.4 GHz. So basically the file transfer is going to be a bit much, much, much faster than the A7R3 on the brand new A7R4. And then there is a new dial on the top of this part of the Sony A7R4 in the R3. We do not have that dial, not sure what that dial is going to do, but we will know once the manual comes out and once I go through that manual. And then the battery compartment has changed for the Sony A7R4. For Sony A7R3, we had this thing. Open the battery, uh, the battery stays same. It's not a different battery. Thankfully, it's the same battery, but this system has changed. This system is no more there in the Sony A7R4. It's basically has changed to some kind of Canon thing. And as per Sony, the Sony A7R4 is going to be lighter than the Sony A7R3, maybe like 20, 30 grams. And the grip has also changed for the Sony A7R3. The grip is like this, but for the Sony A7R4, basically they have increased the grip part. It's more wide so you can hold the camera much nicely with the battery grip or without the battery grip as well. And then small change, the logo part has changed. For the Sony A7R3, we have the logo over here. For the Sony A7R4, the logo has changed to this part. And then the last point, Sony A7R3 is available for like $2,500 or $2,600. Sony A7R4 is going to be hefty. It's going to be $3,500. So like $1,000 difference. It depends what you need. Go ahead and buy it. If you already have a Sony A7R3, I do not think you need to go ahead and get the Sony A7R4. If you do not have the Sony A7R3, then make sense, go ahead and get it. I will make another video talking about like if do you need to really upgrade to Sony A7R4. That video is going to be tomorrow. If you have got any questions today, let me know in the comment section below. Smash the subscribe button if you haven't done it yet. And don't forget to click on the bell icon to stay updated. I will see you in my next video.